Here is the corpus callosum. And right underneath the corpus callosum, this is a wall that separates the lateral ventricles from one another. This is called the septum pellucidum. And this structure is the hippocampus, the hippocampus you find in the temporal lobe. And it has a very distinct structure which has given rise to its name, hippocampus. Hippocampus means seahorse. And this red and blue that you see there represents the choroid plexus. And the information coming from the hippocampus is going to go to the hypothalamus by way of fibers which you see as part of this tract that goes along here, goes around, curves around. And if we back out, you can see what these fibers do. They go underneath the corpus callosum, then head down towards the hypothalamus. So here's one side that's going down towards the hypothalamus. Some of these fibers go down to the mammillary body of the hypothalamus. Some fibers go to other locations in the hypothalamus. This structure is called the fornix. So the fornix contains fibers that are carrying information from the hippocampus, which is down over here, to the hypothalamus. Let's review some of the structures that are visible. This is the pineal gland right over here. Right over here would be the roof of the third ventricle where you find the choroid plexus. Here you can see the thalamus, and right over there is the intrathalamic adhesion. Right in front of where you have the fornix, these are the fibers of the fornix. You have right over here, more medially, the interventricular foramen. Right in front of it, you have the anterior commissure. Right over here is the optic chiasm, and right above it, you have the supraoptic recess. Right over here, you have the infundibulum. The pituitary would be hanging right over here, below this point right here. Right over here, you have the mammillary body. And right over here, in this region, right below the hypothalamic sulcus, right over here, this is the hypothalamus. Back over here is the posterior commissure and this is the beginning of the cerebral aqueduct.